Get your condiments ready before you start. Now it's time to get the meat prep. I'm using beef short ribs, but you can also use beef chuck. If you're using the short ribs, you want to start out with double the weight. I'm going to go in, trim off the fat and the silver skin on the outside, and a little membrane inside the bone. Cut it up. Once you have the meat all cleaned up, place it on a baking sheet and put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes so it's easier to grind. While your meat's in the freezer, get your spices ready. Quarter of a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. Quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder. Quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of table salt. Get that in a bowl, get it all mixed together. After 10 minutes, the meat stiffened up quite a bit. Now it's time to grind. I also placed the KitchenAid meat grinder in the freezer so it's nice and cool. You can also use a cast iron meat grinder if you have one of those too. Take the meat and spread it out on the tray. Try and make it as even as possible. Then we'll take the spices and give it a good coating. Now gently make some meatballs. I'm going to make them around 8 ounces and I have a scale here to weigh them which should be about half the meat. Now just form them by hand. I'm going to make them around 4 inches wide and 3 quarters inch thick. Burgers are ready for the barbecue. Along with that, I'm going to add four slices of thick cut bacon, have four ounces of hickory wood for smoke, and the Maverick Ready Check ET732 is all set up. Let's go get them on the grill. Today I'm cooking on the Napoleon Apollo 3-in-1 smoker, mainly because the Weber kettle's frozen in ice up on the deck, but this can be done on any barbecue set up for two-zone indirect cooking. Let's crack the lid, take a peek how everything's all set up. Hickory wood smoking away. Maverick ready check set up right in the middle. Bacon's on one side, burgers on the other. Give them some time. While the burgers are cooking away, get the buns prepped. I'm using bakery style Kaisers. Just gonna slice them in half, put butter on both sides, then we're gonna grill them up. After 10 minutes, go out and check your temperatures with a digital thermometer, and we'll give the bacon and burgers a quick flip. Let's take a peek how everything's doing. Looking good. Put your thermometer in the side going into the deepest part. Once the burgers are 20 degrees below your target temperature, sprinkle on a good layer of salt and brush on a little bit of vegetable oil. Get both sides and we'll go sear them. Before we sear the burgers, we're going to take the buns and give them a quick toast. Cool thing with this grill is it just snaps apart. To sear the burgers, this is a grill grate flipped upside down. Get them on nice and quick on both sides. Brown them up, lock in those juices. Time to take them off. Let's go get them ready. To serve the burgers, start with two tablespoons of Meathead's Burger Glop on the bottom. Spread it around. Place the burgers on the buns. Top them with two slices of bacon. Then just add slices of lettuce. Two slices of tomatoes. And finish it off with the onions. 
place the tops on, and they're ready to serve. Meathead Steakhouse Steak Burger is tasting delicious and I want to eat. To find this recipe and so much more great cooking tips, tricks, and information, go to AmazingRibs.com. It's easy to do. Barbecue food for you. Give it a try. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs>